regions governments today the indian government has begun the process of stake sale in life insurance corporation of india one of the largest and most important government companies in the country and the 10th largest insurer in the world and one of the largest insurance companies in all of asia it is not an exaggerated to say that the lic is one of the pillars of the indian economy and it is one of the pillars of the state section of the indian economy state owned section of the indian economy the privatization the stake sale rather opens up a dangerous precedent not only because it would undermine the government control over this vital uh, company and its extremely vital function as an insurer to the public but also because of the rushed and arbitrary manner in which this was conducted there is a report from the buyer about uh, the stake sale in the company this is not reflected in the arbitrary manner in which the government is trying to sell its stake in lic this article came out on the 28th of august the global financial markets are in turmoil due to the trade war and this federal reserve is past threatening interest rate hikes hikes the government has announced a much truncated sale of 3 and 1/2% stake in lic the original ambitions were to go up to 10% sale Lessons come down considerably. We fetched only twenty-one thousand crores, and this comes after deep discounts. This uh, IPO is at an extremely discounted rate, which, according to some analysts, will even cause a loss to the company of several thousands of crores of rupees. Sharp reduction in the estimated value of the company is a direct result of changed global market conditions just two months ago. The market estimated the company, market value of the company at the time when the government had planned this. It initially committed to sell 10% stake while the buyer and initial public offering. The value was then estimated to be 12 to 14 crores, and it has since halved to about 6 lakh crores. So yes, there seems to be an odd rush to sell stake in LIC and undermine this company. what reasons there could be we don't know but we can speculate that that the government perhaps wishes to undermine lic in the same way that it has undermined bsnl over the decades and not just the bjp government even the previous government in the us we have to understand this in context india in part on a state led developmental program after independence where the state companies and state corporations or the cornerstone of the indian economic model the growth trajectory of india they had the capital and the backing and the infrastructure and the capability to invest in heavy industries in large scale into infrastructural projects in <coughs> projects which would invest in unprofitable areas for example with bsl we have a nationwide network initiative connecting all households even rural households with telecommunication with telephone lines with mobile connectivity this was an essential foundational step once this foundation was created once the state phone corporations had done their primary foundational work we see private enterprises benefiting to a great extent so here we have a case where the financial sphere and the telecom sphere which were once completely the dominion of state owned corporations progressively losing their monopoly to private players the insurance sector has already opened its opened its gates to private insurers both indian and foreign the banking sector for instance even though much of it remains in state hands private banks are continuing are both inside them in the market and expanding at a much greater rate and 
comes to state corporations, there are two perspectives. One is the perspective of the people, and the other is the perspective of the ruling class, the bourgeoisie. From the latter's perspective, the state corporations exist only to create the foundations, the preconditions on which private enterprise can progress and march on ahead effectively. They would climb the shoulders of state-owned corporations to get bigger. Once the state-owned corporations have cleared the way forward for private enterprise to expand, the job of the state-owned corporations is finished and we should simply privatize it. But from the point of view of the people, their interests, especially the poorest classes of the people, would benefit directly from a utility-driven business model, one which does not put profit in the center of it. State corporations will present an alternative to the profit-driven private sector, the profit-driven corporations in the private sector, and can become a bulwark of a welfare state. State corporations become essential when it comes to the upliftment of the majority of the state corporations can function on the basis of public welfare and public utility. They need not function on the basis of profit. When we deny this, when we, when a nation decides to completely privatize or push towards privatization, undermine state-owned corporations, privatize them, make them unprofitable, run them to the ground, as is happening now with many corporations, especially BSNL, and it happened with Air India. We create conditions where the public at large, the people, are essentially at the mercy of profit driven enterprise. India, under the Modi government, is on the fast track towards privatization. The LIC IPO must be seen in this context. Began with Air India privatizing it, and selling it over to the Tatas, and now it is continuing into the realm of the LIC, into the realm of finance and insurance. We stand for properly run, transparently run public enterprises that can be a bulwark of welfare to the people. We stand against privatization for this reason that it throws the people into the arms of greedy corporations into mercy at the mercy of a profit-driven business model. For this reason, we must be very wary of even this partial privatization which is happening in the LIC. This harkens back to whole India Limited's privatization. And you must recollect that these corporations, Small India Limited, LIC, are mega corporations within the state sphere. They are absolutely essential, not only to the immediate sector in which they are, but to the government's revenues as a whole. LIC has been used in several instances to subsidize the government's, <coughs> government's expenditures and to subsidize their often failed privatization goals and stake sale goals. For instance, in Coal India Limited, the LIC had to invest in uh, several LIC had to invest in several thousands of crores to meet the government's given disinvestment target. A similar case happened with Yes Bank, in which the LIC again became a stakeholder. Here we see the LIC subsidizing the government's failed schemes. LIC has been called a cash cow of the government, a reserve of the government in some instances. To open it to private ownership is a huge threat. It undermines the character of the company and it undermines the safety and security 